Hello. In today's video, we are going to be going over this option, these options here, what they kind of mean in an overview of what they do. So basically, when we're looking at an agent or a machine, um, if we select that machine, we have options here on the right. Um, you can kind of see what they're all listed here and pretty extensive list here. Uh, but why don't we kind of go through them one by one and we can kind of um, decipher what each one of them means. So first would be the protect all groups. That would be kind of saying, hey, under machines with agents in this folder, we're going to add a protection plan to every device kind of in here. Um, you can see that's for all. And then this is specific to the machine. So that kind of shows you the difference there. Uh, when we click on cyber fit score, what that basically gives us is a quick look at the machine, what they're using, and then basically how secure it is kind of like a credit score for that machine. Um, this is going to be your monitoring tab. This is where if you were to apply a monitoring plan, you would be able to see your CPU usage, temperatures, uh, those types of things. Um, so if you have a monitoring plan in place, this is where you're going to see that monitoring plan. The next one is going to be your protection plan. This is where you're going to see any security plans, um, any backup plans, patch management, kind of all the plans that are assigned to that machine. And if we want to create a new one, uh, we can go ahead and hit add plan here and make sure that that machine has it applied. The next one is going to be your disaster recovery. This is going to be where you can either see the current setup for your DR machine. Uh, as you can see, this one, we are, have it in a, a failover state. Um, but if we didn't have this available, this is where we can come in and we can create a DR machine for that machine as well. So um, this, this is where we would edit or manage those uh, DR servers. Next option is going to be your recovery. Um, so this is where you're going to be able to recover that machine. Um, depending on the type of backups you're running, you're either going to be able to do file and folder, entire machine, system state, those types of things. Um, the next one is going to be your RDP option. So if we were to try to connect to this client, we can click on this little icon here. Uh, that would be your remote desktop. Uh, this is where you can connect via near RDP and kind of um, connect to that web client. The next one is going to be the management for that client. So if we want to manage this machine by putting it to sleep, shutting it down, restarting it, transferring files, anything like that, that's where we would do this from. Uh, the two little overlapping kind of looks like paper clips. This is going to be your patch management window. This is where we can take a look at the machine, um, see what available patches there are, and patch it on an individual basis, kind of a manual patch process here. Next one's going to be your details for that machine. This is where we can see everything from your comment, IP address, total backup size, kind of give you all that de device info all in one place. Um, so you can kind of get all the device info there. Your next option here is going to be if we wanted to um, do quotas or do your uh, inventory or software and hardware inventory, uh, as well as USB devices. This is going to give us the historical data of everything that has happened with this machine. Um, so this kind of gives us all the plans that are running, when they ran, those type of options as well. Um, here we have the alerts. So if there's any active alerts in the machine, this is where you would see that. Uh, if we want to add a device to a group, we can go ahead and click that next option with the little folder and a plus sign. Um, that folder and a plus sign basically gives you the ability to add this to a group. So if we wanted to add it, let's say, to SPP group or workstations or something like that, we can click on this, grab that group, and kind of apply that machine to that group. Uh, if we want to delete that agent from within our console, we can delete it here. Um, and then the next option would be link to users. So if you want to link this machine to a, a different admin or something like that, uh, you can link that machine to another user as well. Uh, I hope this gives you a little bit more information on what this little side window gives you and how you can use this to manage that machine. Thank you for joining today's video and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.